Hello, I'm your host David Hoffman and it's time for another FX build. Today we're going to be building a fake bomb. That's right, we're going to make this fake little bomb here and then we're going to use it in a test film. So stick around. I decided to start this build off with a demo of the breadboard build just to give you an idea of how the counter works and also demonstrate that this build can be done on a breadboard to save time and money. There are five switches and each of the first four control one of the four digits on the display. This makes programming a specific time fast and painless. The first, second and last switch will cycle their respective digits 0 through 9. The third switch will cycle the third digit 0 through 5. Since each switch controls a single digit, setting a specific time is a piece of cake. So let's set a test time of 4 minutes and start the timer. I just need to press the red switch and the timer will start counting down. You might notice here that the timer seems to be going a little fast. That's because I had not finished the code yet, but I tweaked it later and got the time pretty much on the money. Now, during a countdown, pressing any of the first four switches will stop the count and increment the appropriate digit. So stopping a count and resetting the display is also a breeze. Okay, I've set the timer for 10 seconds and I'm going to let the timer count down. As you can see, this timer will stop counting when it reaches 1. Now, there's a bit more to what the display will do after reaching 1. Pressing the red switch at this point will scroll a message across the screen. Return the timer to the one countdown and then proceed counting down to zero for the finale. I'm not going to show the message here. I'm saving that for the test film. Once I was satisfied with the code design and the layout of the circuit, I began test fitting pieces to a prototyping printed circuit board. I decided to use a socket to seat the timer into. This just makes removal of the timer for any reason easy. And I used two spacers on the top of the timer to stabilize the unit. I then soldered the switches into place along with pull up resistors and then soldered wire from the switches to the socket. Once all the connections were made, I plugged in a temporary power supply into the programming header and did a test run to make sure all the switches worked as intended and the timer worked. Next, I added a 5 volt regulator and a 6 volt power supply in the form of a 4 AAA battery holder. I also included a power switch to turn the unit on and off. The rest of the build included creating a fake wire bundle for our victim to be distracted by and mounting everything on a box wrapped in gift paper. All in all, this is a pretty easy build. You can find schematics for the build, the source files for the program, over at my website magidavid.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to rate this video and subscribe. Sean, I'm hurt. If you don't want to play anymore, I can go ahead and trigger the bomb now. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Let's just keep going. What color is next? Thank you. 